Hi guys, I just wanted um, to come on from a stand in the park in St Albans. Um, very crucial time right now. I've decided that my purpose of being here now really is, is to support more of the awakening. There's um, people in different groups all over the world being proactive. So much is going on. Um, stand in the park really is a place for people to just meet and connect those people who who are aware of what's happening there are also actually people who have been uh, jabbed who who have woken up um, so it's just a very friendly place to meet but I want to share with you this uh, amazing woman who is traveling the UK um, she's a nurse and um, She's travelling the UK. Yeah, hiya. I've got you on Facebook Live. Yeah, do you just want to share a little bit about what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. So I'm walking every city in England, Scotland and Wales uh, with my sandwich board that says nurses are scared to speak out. Uh, so the nurses, if they ask any questions around COVID, they get labelled anti-vaxxers, yeah. COVID-19, COVID-19. Um, so just trying to raise awareness um, to the public that this is happening and that we should be able to ask questions without fear of job loss. Absolutely. Do you know many nurses yourself personally who are frightened to speak out? Yeah. You do. So thousands have reached out to me, but they're scared. They don't want to lose their job. Um, Mark Sexton said about paying pensions, and it's true. And, and yeah. I'm not critical. I'm not criticised. And I, you know, I understand people in you know difficult positions. But yeah, lots. Well, you know what? You are an absolute legend for doing this and taking the initiative to, to, to go around all the cities in the UK. England, Scotland, and Wales. England, yeah. Scotland, and Wales. I've now got goosebumps with your with your sandwich board. This is really good. We need we need more of you. Thank you so much for bringing this to people's awareness. And uh, you are really are here to serve humanity right now and to support, you know, not just the nurses, but I, I guess, you know, in the NHS, but but so many other people. Lots of people reach out to me, yeah, who kind of have maybe watch one of my videos and they say, like, you know, you're saying what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of being a nurse, it was to help the nurses, but by default, make me Absolutely. More Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. So appreciative of what you're doing. And, you know, anyone else who's really getting to that point where you want to speak out, <laughs> let's turn her around. Let's turn around. Yeah, you know, and, and, and one of the things that I thank you so much, darling, thank you. And uh, one, of the, um, one of the things that's really coming to my attention is how important it is for you to connect to your own inner knowing, connect to your sovereignty. Let's find some shade here. Um, it, it's so important, you know, the reason that we have intuition and we have our higher self is the part of us that is not operating from ego. And so for me personally, I was doing the schools, handing out the flyers, I was going up into the town, talking to people, handing out flyers, going to all the marches, and then I got very clear guidance what my role is in this, because this is a massive war that we're in. Things are stepping up, things are hotting up, things are gonna get darker and darker. We're seeing it happen around the world right now. And it's really important to tune into your own frequency and follow your inner guidance. Because critical thinking and tuning into your own energy system and really feeling absolutely aligned to how you are being in this war and any level of fear is actually keeping us stuck in the frequency that is keeping this perpetuating darkness alive and so that's why it is so important to be clear with what your role is. And we know that the masses are sleeping, the masses are unaware, the masses are doing as they're told, the masses are almost now so brainwashed that they need to be told what to do because they have lost all sense of critical thinking. And yet we're at the tip now of some 
really important decisions for people to make. You know, the 16, my earlier post today, the 16 and 17 year olds who are now being coerced into taking the jib jab is extremely frightening, is extremely worrying. Here in St Albans, it's a very middle class area. You know, I always was the local loon. Uh, thank God, I feel much more community around me now. And yet my longing and my need to, to do that form of proactivism is, is no longer feeling like I'm in alignment with who I am. And I'm doing some of the background work now that I feel is absolutely necessary because the only way that we're going to win this war, <clears throat> the only way we're going to win this war is by raising the frequency and the only way we can raise the... But give me a heart. Thank you so much for joining me. Amber, we were just talking about you. I've met a lovely couple here this morning who are really keen to be more proactive. I mentioned the London Coney lot because <clears throat> I just thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, a few people who want to be very proactive. A standard of the park, just to be clear, is very much for people to just meet each other who are like-minded. And anything else that happens from that place uh, is a bonus, but it's not really what a standard of the park is all about. So if you didn't see uh, what I've just posted earlier, we have, I, I didn't even catch her name. She's been on social media. We have a lovely nurse here this morning. I will just take you back to see her. She is literally going to every single city in the UK, every town, every city in the UK, Ireland and Scotland and Wales, I think she said, with her sandwich board. And I'll just take you back to her. We've got a few new people on. Just gonna take you back to show you what she is doing and absolute massive respect. Is she still here? Maybe she's just gone. She's going to be up in the town today. Okay, Apologi <laughs> apologies. She's actually gone by the looks of it. We're, we're sort of the last people here now. But she's a nurse who's traveling the UK with a big sandwich board saying that nurses are frightened to speak out. And I'm afraid that's this that the money isn't it it's, it's the threat of people losing their jobs losing their livelihoods the only way we are going to win this war is for more of us and this is what we're really all about is to uh is to just hold space for more humans to wake up and to see the truth of what is going on it's a very 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 um mind-blowing experience i can only imagine for those people who have been programmed and brainwashed and then start to get like the peak of light coming through if you imagine a big shutter and then there's a crack in the shutter and the peak of light starts to shine through and with the evil agenda throwing literally daily more and more darkness it's actually allowing more light to shine through so they're making it easy in many ways right now for more people to wake up i did hear somebody say that this plan was a 10-year plan and it's all happened in 18 months that is how quickly and it is going to get harsher they are going to make it more obvious and uh, more, 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 more people starting to realise, starting to wake up. And that lovely nurse, I will get her name later and add it to this uh, title. Uh, people are really standing in their truth and literally uh, taking risks, losing jobs, losing pensions, all the threats that are being put out there, the warriors, the light workers, and all of the other star seeds and those who are really stepping up in their courage that is their human right. You know, we came here to experience joy and bliss. And I can assure you that the narrative of the systems, every single system, has really been one to put humans down, to squash them, to squash their human potential, to destroy their creativity, to manipulate through this dog's pulling me through money, power and control. And it's all coming to the critical point now. So, uh, 
what more can I say? Thank you for joining me and um, big love and step up into your own human potential, which really is all about being here as fifth dimensional beings, living life and appreciating what really matters, which is honouring Mother Earth and standing solidly in our true essence, which is which is pure joy and peace and bliss. Big love. Happy Sunday.